Hello everybody, Niklas here for this new video on these channels and in this video I'm going to talk about Planner 5D and we will see how to use the Smart Wizard. So here you can find this option, it is a Smart Wizard and with these tools you will be able to directly create a room with furnitures with a specific size. I'm going to show you how it works in this video. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like my works. First link on the description, the complete course is available. So if you want to learn everything about Planner 5D, if you want to have a, course, a structure course starting from scratch with a concrete project of a design of rooms and house, it is on the first link on the description. This is my complete course. You will see the description of the models and the session. Just click on the first link on the description. And let's start with uh, this uh, video. So first things to do, it's to just create a room, it's clicking on this tool, click on Smart Wizard. And after you have a new panels, choose a room shape. So you need to select the type of room that you want like this, so you can have different style, as you can see. If you select a size like, for example, this one, after you will have some options to create rotation, you can also flip horizontally or flip vertically, just like that. If um, after you want to edit some parameter, for example, you have a window, you can drag and move this window. You can also click on this window and duplicate with this element and add a new window. And here this is the entrance door and you can change the position of the entrance door. Let's make something simple. Let's just select the basic uh, room shape with this one. And I would like to position, for example, my window here. And I would like to position an entrance door, for example, here. After we'll be able to click on next step and on the next step you will have dimension. If it is not a basic room like this, so for example I can come back, you select this one, next step, you will have a lot of dimension and each time you can drag and move the dimension to have exactly the size that you want for your room, just like this. So here we have a lot of dimension because we have something with a L shapes. But if I just come back with something simple like this one and select next step, I think I can flip vertically and change the position of this door just inside and maybe I can invert the opening just here. I can click on next step. So here I can find two dimensions, 500 by 500. Let's just change for 600. And here we have 500, maybe I can change for 600 by 600. I can select the unit. We work in centimeter. And I can change then the position of the window again and click on the next step. So next step is to select what type of room it will be. Because if, for example, you select a bedroom, you will have a bed. But if you select a living room, you won't have a bed, you will have something for the living room. Here we have something 30 meters square. If I select a living room, take a glance, you need to select after the type of style that you want. So this is an industrial style. If I want to have a Scandinavian style, I can click here. The only um, bad things I think on this tool is not to have not a lot of options for style. As you can see, we just have this option. It's not a lot, but it's already not bad to start with something interesting. So this is a Scandinavian style. You can find like uh, you have a Japanese style also, like this. And sometimes it is useful to have just ID and maybe to start with a model of room just using this one. And you can repeat the process. So it means after you can create another room, it can be, for example, a bathroom and you can repeat the process with bathroom. If I wanted to change this room for, for example, a bedroom, so I can click on this one, select the style one more time. Let's just select this type of style. Sometimes it is a little long. Yes, just like that. 
And as you can see, we don't have a lot of furnitures because the size of the room is 36 meters square. And, and with this element, it is just a room, so they don't put a lot of things. I think if you create a room and to use this one, it is uh, to use a bedrooms, it is better to create something smaller. Not 36 meters square is too big. You need to create something like 10, 15, 20, 25 meters square. So here in this example, the best things will be to create a living room because I have 36 meters square. And after I just select the style that I want. It can be also a classic style, minimalist style. So after to do this work, don't forget that you can complete and directly you start with the models of room. It is not a problem if you don't like something because you can edit everything on your 2D or 3D view. For example, I don't want this plant. I can click on this one and delete. If I don't like the position of, for example, one of these elements, I can drag and move and change the position. If, for example, I move, want to move this plane, it is possible. I can select my 3D view, then. Same, if you want to edit material, texture, you can edit anything that you want. It's just that directly you can start with a models. And sometimes it is extremely useful. For example, the style is good. The, I think it's not bad. And after you can also change the position of the element at your convenience. If you don't like something, I don't like, for example, this carpet, I can click on this one and delete, or I could change the color. So after you can make what you want, you just start with the models and you can edit at your convenience. So this is how to use this type of options. And this is the smart wizard. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channels. Continue to follow me. First link on the description, the complete course is available. I'm an online teacher, so if you want to have a structured course to learn Planner 5D from scratch, uh, seeing all the different features, in this course, there is also a complete project of a house. So we see step by step how to uh, create walls, how to create rooms, add doors, add windows, then add different furnitures, decoration on each room, edit materials, texture, and after to do all these things to create a render. And in this project, we will extend also on a garden design. So everything is on the first link on the description and for our next video, see you. Ciao, ciao.